everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial um, we're going to discuss the question which uh, which is this one here it says and the leg and cast in figure 1.0 weighs 220 newtons that is w1 determine the weight which is the w2 and the angle alpha needed so that uh, no force is exerted on the hip joint by the leg plus the cast so for this expression uh, i mean for this question here i'm going to use a table to solve it yeah it's also one of the most important things that you can uh, the most important and easiest way to solve such questions so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel click the subscription button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting and uh, uh, make sure that if you have any questions you send them over to any of these lines on the screens and don't forget to click the notification button all right so let's uh, quickly begin so the question reads uh, the leg and cast in figure one weighs 220 newtons so i'm going to draw a free body diagram here so I have this force, which is coming from this side. So I'm going to I'm, I'm going to assume that all the forces coming from this joint are uh, in tension. So this one is uh, called W2. This one is 110 newtons. Then I also have another force, which is the weight of the, uh, the, the is it the weight of the leg, which is uh, called W1. And then this one has been given to be 220 newtons. And then the angles that have been given, we have this angle this side, which is uh, 40 degrees. Then we also have alpha this side. Now the question is uh, asking us to calculate the force that is uh, W2 and the angle which is alpha. So we are going to use uh, uh, we are going to use Newton's second law. And in this case, we are going to consider, since this, um, uh, since the whole process here is, um, is the, the whole process here is uh, not moving, meaning this is static in short. So meaning the acceleration is equal to zero. Yeah, because the velocity is equal to zero. So for the force, for, for Newton's second law, we know to say all the forces are supposed to add up to mass and acceleration. And then, if the acceleration is equal to zero, it means that all the forces will be adding up to a zero. So let us now do this uh, question. So I'll start. Um, I'll draw. I'm going to draw a table, which I'm going to use to solve the question. So this table. This is a table of components. So I'm going to have the x and y components. So this side, I'm going to have the x component. Then this side, I'm going to have the y component. Okay, so this side, I'm going to have the weights. I have W1 and W2. Then I also have 110. So I have the first weight is W1. Then I also have W2. Then I also have um, 110 newtons. So this uh, 110 newtons, yes, doesn't be given any, uh, doesn't be given any variables. Not W something. So I'll just write it as 110 newtons. Okay, for the first one here, the x component of W1, which is uh, this one, we know that W1 is only in the y. It's not in the x. So here, the x component of this will be zero. Then the y component of W1 is simply just 220 newtons, of course. Let me just put the newtons there so that I shouldn't be repeating them. So um, W1 is 220, but because it's facing down, me, I'm taking up as positive and then down as negative. So up is positive, down as negative. So this one will be negative 220. And then W2, W2 is um, tilted to a certain angle. So meaning um, we are going to have um, two components in W2, the X and the Y component. So we have the X component which is going this side and then the Y component is going like that. So the X component is in this direction which is uh, the positive side of the, 
uh, yeah, the positive side of the x-axis. So meaning, I'm going to say this will be a positive um, component. So if it's a positive component, I'm going to um, I'm going to resolve W2 in the uh, x component. So this will be cos because if you um, watched some of my videos that I made on um, on the same uh, vectors, you agree with me that the x is carry the, the x mostly carries the a cos uh, trig ratio, and then the y mostly carries the um, sine trig ratio, except in certain situations where the angle changes. Maybe the angle is somewhere this side. That's when you can say, okay, the x will carry the sine, and then the y will carry the cos. So we know to say from Sokatoa, if this is our angle alpha from Sokatoa, this side is the adjacent. It's adjacent to this angle. So if you are using Sokatoa there, if you check Sokatoa, the one which uh, has the adjacent and the hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse is W2, then the adjacent to this angle is the X component. Yes, so the adjacent is the X component and then the hypotenuse is W2. So if you are using Sokatoa, you discover that you are going to have cos, uh, cos alpha is equal to, you have something like cos alpha is equal to the adjacent, which is the X component of that, so the adjacent, which is the x component, over the hypotenuse, which is w2. So to find the x, we are going to cross multiply w times cos alpha. So this will be uh, w2 cos alpha. So here we're going to have w2 cos alpha as one of our components. We have w2 cos alpha, and it's facing the positive. So we'll leave it the way it is. And then we also have this other part, which is the y component of this same one. So the y component is simply just the opposite to the angle. So if you are dealing with the opposite and the hypotenuse, it means that we are going to use sine. And it's also facing up, meaning towards the positive um, y axis. So this will be uh, w1, or oh, rather w2, we are still on w2. So this is w2 sine. Uh, alpha. Okay, so even the 110, we can resolve it in two components. So to resolve this, this will be 110. Then when you check the x component of this one, is going towards the negative. So it will be cos um, 40, but because it's going towards the negative, we're going to include the negative then. Then even this side will do the same. So this will be. Um, it's going up so this is going to be 110 sine 40 degrees so since it's going towards the positive y so we we'll just leave it as a positive where it is so from there now we can just add up the components yeah, so our aim is to find alpha and uh, w2 so when we add first let me find the value for this so 110 sine uh, 40. So 110 sine 40. Simply just 70.7. And then when you find negative 110 cos 40. So negative 110 cos 40 uh, is simply just. Um, uh, this will be negative 82.26. So this, we can change this part. Let me just do it this way. So I'll say this is uh, cos 40. we we'll say this is equal to um, 82. Let me just go back. Okay, 82. So yeah, I was just trying to write them properly. So we have uh, 110. A negative 110 cos 40 gives us negative 84.3 and then um, the one that we had this side which was uh, 110 uh, 110 sine 40 we said this was equal to 70 point something so 110 sine
Okay, so I was saying when you add this part, when you add these components here, you discover that you're going to have 0 plus negative 84.3. You have negative 84.3, and then we say plus this component there, which is W2 cos alpha. Then we also have this other part, which is uh, negative 220 and 70. When you add it, you get something like negative 149.3. Then you, when you add it to this part, you have plus W2 sine alpha. So our aim here is to find um, alpha and W2. So what do we do? We're going to equate all the components to zero because we know to say all the X components, all the forces in the X are supposed to add up to zero. And all the forces in the Y are also supposed to add up to zero. So I'm going to equate both components to zero. So the first one is negative 84.3 uh, plus w2 cos alpha is equal to zero and then i also have negative 149.3 uh, plus w2 sine alpha is also equal to zero so i'm going to take this to the other side of the equal sign i also take negative 149.3 to the other side of the equal sign so i'm going to have the equation will now be equal to w2 cos alpha is equal to 84.3 then i also have uh, w2 sine alpha is equal to um, 149.3 so the other thing i'm going to do is to find the value of alpha how am i going to do that i'll find means of cancelling w2 and just remain with the angles. So if you want, you can solve this simultaneously by making one the substitute value. But as easiest way you can do this is just by dividing the two equations. So I'm going to divide equation two. This one is equation two by equation one. So that at least I know that if I divide sine and cos, I'll get done. So I'm going to have W2 sine uh, alpha is equal to, uh, I mean over W2 cos alpha then i'll say everything is equal to so everything is equal to uh for sine sine is there is 149 there 149.3 then everything divided by 84.3 so this will be this and that will cancel so here i'm going to remain with tan alpha is equal to so when i divide that by this will be um 1.77 so alpha will now just be equal to tan inverse of 1.77 so the value of alpha where can i write it the space is done okay so the value of alpha um let me just do this Okay, so the value of alpha, um, let me erase this. I'll use blue so that at least there's a difference. So the value of alpha will now just be equal to, so alpha will be equal to tan inverse of that. So tan inverse of 1.7, this uh, 1.77, this is about 60.5. So alpha is simply just... 60.5 uh, degrees so let us find um oh, sorry for that okay let us find we found alpha we found alpha to be 60 i don't know how the space is done okay so alpha is 60 Okay, so alpha, we found alpha to be 60.5 degrees. So 60.5 degrees, that's the value of alpha. Then to find the value of W2, we can get one of these equations, one of these equations, or one of these two equations, this one here, or the other one. So we can get, let me get for sine. So W2 sine, W2 sine alpha is equal to, um, we found um, 149. 
So we make W to the subject, which will be 149.3 over sine alpha. So but alpha we found it to be 60. So we put 60.5 there. Then the value of everything there becomes, so we have sine alpha. Then we say 149.3 divided by uh, sine alpha, which gives us something like 171. 171.5 newtons so w2 is simply just 171.5 newtons and then alpha is 60.5 degrees thank you very much for watching today's tutorial so if you have any questions feel free to contact me on these lines on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to click the notification button yeah, so my name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.